News. After the weight of his life, a man named Edison Pena is about to attempt the run of his life. He is one of the 33 Chilean miners who was trapped deep underground for three months. Now he's here in this city because he's preparing to run in the New York City Marathon. And it's how he trained for it that some might find unusual. Our report tonight from NBC's Mara Schiavacampo. Much like when he was rescued from Chile's Copiapó mine, today Edison Peña arrived in New York to a hero's welcome. After a record 69 days trapped half a mile underground, he's here for another test of endurance, the New York City Marathon. It's incredible. Though he's an amateur runner who has never completed a course like this, Pena is determined to cross this finish line and says that being here at all is a dream come true. I had to go through all of that to be here today, he says. Nicknamed the runner by his fellow miners, Pena jogged as much as six miles each day underground, cutting his steel-tipped work boots to ankle height, running in 85-degree heat and pitch darkness, guided only by the light of his helmet and the sounds of Elvis, music he never thought he'd hear again. Return the center. I dress Pena says his underground runs kept him strong, physically and emotionally, giving him the will to fight. I thought of changing destiny, he says, telling the mine, I am going to beat you. On Sunday, Pena won't be racing against anyone, but rather he'll be joined by 45,000 supporters running alongside him. I think every runner in the race is going to think, how much pain can I be in? This, this, you know, I, I can get through this race if this guy could get through all those days in darkness, in a mine with real fear for his life. The man who ran simply to survive now does it to celebrate life, an inspiration to so many. Mara Schiavocampo, NBC News, New York. And a reminder, NBC Sports will have coverage of the marathon this Sunday.